now let's talk about church. People think they come to church to be entertained. Well, I went to church and yeah, I didn't feel nothing. Or they come in and say, well, I had a need. I went to church to get a need. Show me anywhere in the Bible that they went to the temple to get a need. You went to the temple to bring something to God. And God said, do not show up here empty. Every time you went there, you went there to take something to God. Why? Because God was blessing you. And this is why the church is such a ray is because of so many people sick, just like the day when Jesus showed up. The reason everybody was sick because they didn't have God anymore. They still had a temple. Everybody was still there, but you had sick people. You had a man lying by the pool for 38 years sick, one with an issue of blood for 12 years sick. You had a blind man sick. Nobody was getting healed. Nobody was getting anything from God because even though they had a temple, even though everybody was going to the temple, but nobody was sacrificing, they were merchandising in and out of the temple. The same thing a lot of churches do. So until we realize why we go in the church and the communion table should be the start of every church to remind you why you're there. You are there to worship God, to hear from God, and to thank God. In everything that you do, you are there for those reasons. And if you're going there to be entertained, you're going for the wrong reason. You're going there because they got babysitters, you're the wrong reason. You're going there for coffee, you're going there for the wrong reason. If you're going there because you love the band, you're going there for the wrong reason. If you're going there because the church is beautiful, you're going there for the wrong reason. You go to church because of what God and Jesus Christ has done for us. And the communion table tells us clearly what he's done. And you cannot get around Jesus and the communion table because that is the foundation that we stand on. That's what the gospel is built on. The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ came and did everything for us. So we can now serve God to the fullest and we can worship our Father. We can praise him. We can glorify him. And we can tell the whole world how great he is.